need to check out the reservoir. Be advised, escape convicts are driving around in stolen vehicles. Additional officers report to Spanish Harlem. I should check on Miles. Hey, Pete. There's the reservoir. No sign of Scorpion. Better take a closer look. Now, if I was a mercenary dressed like a Scorpion, where would I be? Behind you! <laughs> Me, I'd end it now. But Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you. Which I respect. Damn it! What did he inject me with? Whoa! What the... Is that... a sea of poison? Can't be! This can't be real. Must be the poison. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground. And analyze whatever he injected me with. Okay, should be safe for a minute. We need to analyze the neurotoxin so I can create an antidote. Scorpions made some upgrades. Hallucinogenic neurotoxin. My brain will create nightmares that my body thinks are real. I have to create the antidote fast. First, I need a natural steroid. Extract from an Eclipta Alba plant should do the trick. ESU's greenhouse is nearby. Hope it's in season. Eclipta Alba should be inside. Uh, 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 uh. Don't worry. Uh, it it can be both. Shape. Duck? It's just the hallucinations intensifying. You can get through this. Doc? You sound... Like I did before the neural interface affected my mind. My obsessions were always there. But the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you! Somehow! Ah, uh, Peter. Always trying to shoulder the responsibility. Even when there's no hope. I can't tell you how many times your unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss being with you. I really do. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, you're sorry. And yet, you let it happen. There's the Eclipdalb. I need time, but I need an antitoxin to mix a permanent antidote. One of Harry's research stations was developing a synthetic atropine. Gotta get there fast. Giant deadly scorpion tails. Lovely. Thanks, brain. How you feeling, spider? Raw panty crawling up your spine. Scorpion? Get this number. Always asking of these interesting questions. It's not how am I calling you, it's am I calling you. Maybe I'm just the feverish screams of your dying brain. Real or no, when I 
cure this poison. I'm coming for you, Mac. <laughs> Too late. Just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Ah, but it is me. The me polite society found in me. The parts of myself I suppressed. You helped me break those chains. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear it. Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. The poison is in. You are the poison. Everyone you touch suffers. Stop running from me. Let me try. I want nothing from you. You're a failure at life, love, career. You bring nothing but pain. No, stop! I'm not giving up on you! Please, just talk to me. I can help you. So you can treat me like all the rest? Containing me? Suffocating me? No, I will let my genius shine on its own. I saw you, Peter. Taking There it is. The atropine! Up the antidote. It looks like I'm headed back to the lab. Here we go. I'm nearly cured. Sorry to bust up your plans. Oh, Webs, don't worry. <laughs> Plenty of surprises left for you. We'll be able to jump again real soon. Count on it. to mix the antidote. Finally, the rid- ah! an imaginary glass jaw. Get to me. Nice. Just a few 
few more left. Another one down. The world. One more. Last of them. I can barely stand up. There's the equipment I need. Finally, I'm running out of time. I can feel it. I think I did it. Where'd my suit go? I think I took decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. Parker. Always listening, aren't you? Always observing, memorizing, stealing. Who have you told about the neural interface, hmm? About my work? Well, it stops here, Parker. I trusted you. But instead of recognizing my genius, what did you do? Tried to tear it down! Accused it of flaws. There are no flaws! It's a thing of beauty. A perfect extension of the mind itself into the world. Thought given form by these incredible arms. And I have only one thought on my mind now. Norman's reputation lying in tatters before me. Time Parker says the interface is dangerous, but the boy's a neophyte. Never truly created anything. Thinks we can stay on the sidelines, avoiding the mud. Men died to found this nation. They died to get us to the moon. Every great push forward demands blood. And this next push, this push to rid ourselves of Norman's stink, it may yet be the bloodiest of them all. Not gonna let that happen, Doc. Defense contracts. He was designing gear for my greatest enemies this entire time. Probably thought it was funny with me making Spider-Man's gear just next door. The neural interface is exacerbating Doc's rage. He may not be able to come back from this. He was planning this right under my nose. Was it just an idea in his head until the interface pushed him over the edge? How long was he using the device before I realized? Still foggy. I need to work the last of the poison out of my system before I tackle the other villains. Good time to go on patrol. Sable's contained. Time to stop the convicts. He just got a tiny bit safer. Nice job, me. Okay, I visited your website, and nowhere did it say make crisis situations worse. Stay with him. 
MJ, hey, you mind if I toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you? When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable, though. Man, the high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew was still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Okay, I need to get after Scorpion, but I haven't seen Aunt May face to face since the fire. I think I can afford a quick pit stop at Feast. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. A bunch of convicts even do this. Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? Like a bug on a windshield. Splat. All because he made one stupid crack about the guy's sick. What the hell? We got ours. What the hell? Got a few seconds. Should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Both of them are. But they're on our side. You two, get over here. All right, all right, all right. Sector clear. Continuing patrol. Nothing here. This can stop right now. Just give us the locations and schedules for your supply. Rooms. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. I don't have that Believe me, I hate watching events in Whale. Turns my stomach. Just give us the stuff. Don't have clearance for that. Why are the super dudes so set on taking out these relief centers? Something about Osborne. They want to show how weak he is, that he can't protect the city. <laughs> so 
sounds like a lot of drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Yeah, man. This stuff will be worth a fortune on the black market. Come on. Let's keep digging through it. Another supply tent. A couple trauma kits. No antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Looks like they're gonna divvy up the supplies. City. Oh, boy. They better not try to short us. Gotta avoid that sniper. understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! Oh. Did not need to see that. What was that? Check it. Now. I think he saw me. Time to get out of here. Whoever is here, come on! I have no time for this. We are having fun with lights now? I will have fun with your face. Come out! And I promise not to crush you. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. I'll try another way.
You let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha, <laughs> kids Why? got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. You want a taste? I gotta work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith.